me again, back in the garage. Um, I brought my drill this time, finally. So hopefully I can get this door latch striker situation sorted. Fingers crossed. Okay, I got one side working. Just need to make a little progress on the other side. I actually ended up using the Dremel more than the drill, but I did use the drill a little bit, which helped. But this is a, this process is taking way too long. So one side is still is fine. This side still needs a little bit. Come on. Almost there. Okay, I got them. Wait, can't see. I got them both sized about right and uh, I think they're the rivets are just a little bit bigger than the um, the holes that this will go through on the hood so hopefully we can do this right and get these to fit appropriately correctly closely tightly I don't know hard to see um, but you can I just tightened it a little bit and it actually fits pretty good as it is so we should have to pull pretty hard to to even get it to like move it all right now now I just gotta put the rivets in hopefully not completely fuck that up but we'll see so, okay, I have the rivet in the rivet gun. And this is the first time I've ever used one of these. In th this video that I watched, it says you're supposed to close it a little bit to keep the rivet inside, which seems to work. Um, but in everything that I'm seeing, it says that you're supposed to like put the rivet in the hole, right? And before you start like, you know, doing the, whatever it's called, squeezing the handle. So I'm wondering like, if I start squeezing, is it gonna push the rivet through the like slightly smaller space on the hood? Hopefully, I don't know. Cause if not, then I don't know what the alternative is. What do you think, dude? My technical advisor has some input. Well, my first attempt failed. The rivet broke off and you can see it did not go all the way in. Perfect. Don't mind me. Okay, I was at least able to get the rivet out since it didn't go all the way through. Okay, so uh, it, we're gonna play a game called why am I an idiot this time? Or how am I an idiot this time? In case you already didn't figure it out, my understanding of what I was supposed to do with the rivets was incorrect. So um, it seems like, <laughs> this seems very obvious in retrospect, but it seems like I need to make sure that the rivets also go through the holes on the, um, uh, on the actual hood because if when you're pushing them through um, with the rivet gun, it just does what it did yesterday, which, or you know, it's another day. Um, so I'm gonna use my Dremel, try and expand these holes a little bit, uh, and then I'll try again to um, use the rivet gun to get this um, hood latch striker fixed, so I can then attempt to align the hood to actually get it to close again, to latch again. Good times. Okay, I can see 
takes a little bit of, well, in this one it's a little bit quicker, but you can see these go in, well, takes a little bit of finagling, but we're getting there. I think I'm almost to the point where I can try to use the rivet gun again, but we'll see. Stand by. Okay. I got the top one in and the lat or the striker is pretty tight, but um, I might try to squeeze it a little bit with some uh, um, channel locks or I can't remember, locking wrench. I can't remember what they're called, but um, this is the most progress I've made so far. We're gonna try rivet gun on one of these here in a second. Oh my god, I just realized there's still a rivet from yesterday. Brilliant. Oh. Okay, got it out. Wow. I guess I should probably put the proper thing on. Oh my god, I'm having a day. Okay, so it looks like it worked. I think the, oh, there it is. So the, the bottom of it just fell out from the rivet gun. So that looks a lot better than yesterday. Um, now I just gotta get the other one in and then we'll see how it looks after that. Wow. I've been spending the last like 10 minutes trying to get the bottom one through. Probably more like 20 minutes, honestly. Um, I don't know if it's just, like, I got one of these rivets in fine when I didn't have the um, the other one before I used the rivet gun on the top one, and now it's just taking me forever to get this other one lined up. Perfect, classic, of course. Oh my God, like forever minutes later. I finally got it to fit, so now I just got to use a rivet gun on the bottom one. Oh my god. This is way more of a pain in the butt. Pain in the ass, pain in the butt than I expected, but, you know, I should have expected it. Success, if you can call it that. It seems like it's pretty tight. Um, happy to have that done. Now I just need to see if it... Um, if it does the trick when closing the hood, but I think more than likely this needs to be adjusted. I'll have to do some trial and error for that, but I did get one thing done. <sighs> Woohoo! Great success. Okay, so you might notice something. The hood is closed. It's latched. Holy crap.
Okay, so I did not think that was gonna happen, but I I made one adjustment to the like latching mechanism. I moved it, I think, all the way over to the right. Just, I don't know, I just sort of guessed. And I just closed it. Like it just latched. I did not expect that. That is awesome though. Oh my God. Oh. I am absolutely getting hood pins though. I feel like I need to get those. So if you have a recommendation on them, um, on a brand or whatever, uh, that works with an aftermarket hood, this is a Cervini, Cervini's hood, please write in the comments or write in my one of my threads on the forums. Oh my God, I feel so relieved. And now I really wanna go drive my car. Oh, wow. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. Stand by. Hopefully it starts up. Woo! This is the first time I've driven this car in like, it's gotta be like two months. At least two months, I would guess. It feels pretty good to drive. This, uh, on these slow speeds, I am reminded of a thing that I have uh, still yet to figure out or to resolve, which is the uh, annoyingly loud power steering pump. But yeah, anyways, happy I got something done. Finally, finally gonna be able to drive the Mustang more often until I do the next thing that, um, that puts it out of commission. Whatever that may be, uh, 